So, this is that, <laughs> this is that Tazzy that Caleb gave me. You can do this. Oh, oh see, oh, lovely. Oh, friends, see, Caleb, buddy, you know what? world's finest kelly thanks brother i appreciate the hell out of it those tazzies i love them we're gonna see this thing split wood very soon it's not super duper heavy it's short and stout 
but it'll hang on a head real nice. Probably a 30 inch handle on that sucker. Oh yeah. Excited about that. That's exactly what I wanted. Caleb, thank you, buddy. Over and out, friends. It's, it's a beautiful split knacks. Beautiful split knacks. Like, it's only 28 inches, friends. Okay, it's like a competition freaking chopping axe is what it is. And I could easily turn it into that by changing the profile. But it's just a bloody nice splitter. I would do that if, for fun. I made this for me. I made this axe for me. That is a freaking beautiful piece of, piece of axe stuff. It just is. And, and the hang is, we're hanging brothers and sisters. We are hanging. You know what I mean? Yeah. The reason I, aero, I call this aerodynamics. And the reason I do that, I don't have to tell you why. You guys know why. You're going through the wood, right? That's how we go through the wood. It just, you, friends, grab an ax, friends, brothers, women and children, grab an ax, go out to the bush. Friends, things are so, so technical nowadays. It, it, get out to the bush, grab an ax, go smack a piece of wood with it, get the heart rate up, get your kids out to the bush. Father and son, it's a great thing to do. Go throw some axes, set up a piece of wood in the bush. Make sure nobody's walking down the trail or nothing, but you know what I'm saying. There's just something about the axe, the humble axe. Oh, this turned out really, really nice, friends. You know what I mean? It just really did. We got to go smack this. Oh, forget it. Forget it. I'll see you guys out at the wood pile. It's a uh, small axe. You got to be careful. You can, uh, you can bust yourself up with a small axe. You know what I mean, friends? You got to... Like... If you stand up and you miss, see this? This can easily come this way, this way. That's why I suggest with a smaller ax, <laughs> it's, the flick is always nice, okay? And the flick is that, is that, you see that? So it, it flicks, automatically flicks the ax out to the side and see? And another good thing about the flick or, or I shouldn't say the flick, about using a short ax, another good thing to do is, is, is bend down at the knees when you hit. Don't stand straight legged. Like literally drop down, right? So you go down and, and, and bend your knees. Take your hit down with you because your ax will go, right? Because if you're high, it kind of come like this. If you're low, it's gonna hit the ground, it's physics. You see what I'm saying, friends, like this? See if you stand and say if you missed, you could easily come this way. But if you drop, drop your knees, she's going into the ground. Because this is such a wonderful tool to use. Gosh, it's nice. I mean, really nice. It's got the symmetry, it's got the rock and a sock action. Do you know what I'm saying, friends? <laughs> It's deadly, you know, but, but a guy can, he can get it. If he's not careful, he can get it with these. Gosh, that first smells good. And friends, when you're hitting wood, when, when you're, when you're hitting wood, try, well, I want to show you something. Okay. Say you're going to do a swing like this. You're going to do a side swing. Don't, don't swing for low. You know what I mean? Swing for a hit that takes the top rings. Can you guys see that? 
Let's see if you guys can see that. Shoot for the top rings. Oh yeah, you can. Right there. Sorry, there we go. So, so what I'm saying is when you're going through, when you're going through wood, if I go like this, wham, and, and hit straight on like that, that's great, it'll split, but it's gonna go through the wood and it's gonna, it's gonna, you know, get at the, the ax handle a bit. So why not hit like this? You, you know what I'm saying, right, friends? Hit like this so that when it goes through, it, the wood's nowhere near instead of, instead of like this, I'll show you. Here, see if I can get it to stick in. Instead of like that, you can see what it's gonna do. It's gonna go through and hit it. It's gonna hit the wood. Barely, but it's going to. You see? You know what I'm saying. So, I, when I split wood, I'm always conscious about my handle. I use the top part of the ax. See? And my wood is always kind of, not always, of course, but I try and do that. And that's where, believe it or not, that's where injury can happen. When you're trying to save stuff out, that's where it can happen. That's why this, the flick is the gig. This ax is, is out of this world. It's out of this freaking world. Look at that, right off. Just bloody gorgeous, okay? <laughs> oh. Man, oh man, friends. You know what I mean? You see, see the size of it? It's short. It is. It's a short axe. Mm-hmm. So again, I want to show you something. Let's look at our axe. Okay. That's nothing. That's actually part of the the grain. Okay. You see? Look. You, you see, right, friends? There's nothing. Because this is ash and you'll bust it up. You'll bust it up. Take care of your axes. This, 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 this is a good hang, friends. <laughs> Hey.
Okay, we've got our final sanding. Get all my dirty paws off it. This axe is actually not bad sharp wise. And it's a teeny bit. This is, uh, dear heavens, <laughs> dear heavens. Whoa! <laughs> I might break the handle. I might, I can feel it. it it's, it's hard to say, but we're gonna give it a shot. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. Oh, you're damn right. You're damn right. Now, just because I can, There, that's it, I'm done. Oh yeah, yeah, oh deadly, deadly, deadly. And not only that, friends, you won't be able to take that off there by hand now, it's down. It's, it's, it's like, how can I explain it? I don't have to explain it, I think you guys know what I mean. It's not down and pop stopping, it's gone, kick, 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 right? Yeah, it has. I'm quite tickled with the fit, I will be very honest. Yeah, neat axe. Okay, it's time. Okay, so friends, this is this is a buck and axe. This is for this is for me, it's not it was a head given to me by Caleb, the axe addict, and I've been wanting to have almost like a, uh, a um, what do you call it? Like a chopper, like a, like a, a competition chopper almost. This thing is head heavy. I think I just made the best axe I've ever, one of the nicest, the most wickedest axes I've ever made in my life. I'm not joking you friends, this is not a joke. And it's partially, it's got to do with two things. This world's finest Kelly head, Taz pattern by Axe Addict Caleb, True Temper. The True Temper's in there. I'm, I might not expose it. I'm not sure yet. Um, and this French curve handle by Killinger. Okay. It's these two pieces of gloriousness that has allowed me uh, I'm, I'm actually, I'm actually excited. I, I don't know what to say. The, 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 the grain orientation, uh, which isn't a massive thing to me, but what it does do is it creates flat grain on the side of the ax, which aesthetically is amazing. Yes, it's strong. It, there, no question it, it is, but I, I'm not Mr. Grain orientation guy. I, I mean, Yes, it's nice to have straight up and down. Don't get me wrong, but I've used axes with every kind of grain orientation you can think of, and I'm still running them in that shop right now. Look at this thing, it's chewing the wood. Man, oh man.